the most important discourse that I think that Pope Benedict XVI gave in his pontificate was the discourse he gave in December 2005 to the Roman Curia, where he uh, said that we need to read the Vatican, the Second Vatican Council in a hermeneutic of continuity. Now, it happens sometimes in culture, in certain cultural contexts, that certain issues are misunderstood because the meaning of words changes, because new questions have arisen, because there is a wider historical, geographical perception, because the sciences have moved on and, and discovered certain things. And so there is a seemingly a conflict between the teaching of the church and, and the social context. And so the church, in some sense, has to step back and look more in depth uh, and reread uh, the, the, the tradition which is transmitted from the time of the apostles and maybe reformulate it in a way so as not to suggest a trap, uh, a conflict where there really is no conflict. And so the Pope in that discourse mentioned that uh, the Church at Vatican II had to deal with, uh, and he listed several questions the relationship between the sciences and faith, particularly the historical sciences, with all the discoveries of the archaeology of history of the Middle East. And so this had an impact on the reading of scripture. We have the Dei Verbum as, as a result. The relationship of the church to the modern state uh, and the question of, of, of religious liberty. If, we, if we're aware that in the 19th century, religious liberty was understood as an act of the intellect, that the intellect can be free from truth, and the church was saying, no, this is madness. Whereas in the 20th century, religious liberty is understood as an act of the will, that the will is not to be forced by external pressure. The church has always said that faith has to be a free act. Huh? So the, the angle of approach is different, but basically the teaching is the same. So Vatican II tried to undo certain resistances to the faith that were present in, in the Western world. Huh? Now, I found a, a discourse of Albino Luciani, the future John Paul I, who as a young bishop, when the council was called, spoke to his, uh, to his priests. And Luciani said that the fruits of the council will be sanctity, but that may come after a long period of difficulties, of misunderstandings, and so on. So, the question of how do we read Vatican II, uh, uh, the Pope here gave a very clear line of interpretation.